for Andrea Voss and stuff you may have missed. <laughs> I tell you what, I didn't even announce about he comes. Ray, ladies, you're in for a treat. The guys got the thrill at the royal wedding with Pip Middleton. They reckon the back of her was impressive. Ray, just turn around. Hey? <laughs> you know, reckon... Up, 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 up. Here's where the action is. Cameron, this is where the action is. Baby, that's going to be... Oh, it's got its own Facebook page, that. All right, hold the sign up, Ray. And we're here for Hunt Timber and Hardware. Your local home, Timber and Hardware. The proper hardware store. Now, stuff you may have missed from last week, and fans of the segment, they want their 15 seconds of fame. Well, they get it after their efforts down in cold, chilly Albury. Last Friday night, they've gone to the trouble of making a sign. Fantastic. Well done. Stuff you may have missed. And that's it. You've had your uh, chance. Let's see if people can get signs out there at other sporting events. We'll see if we'll put it on the footy show. Sorry, Benji. Through the sign. All right, enough of that. Let's get on to action on the field. First up, was this a try? Was it a play the ball? Was it a tackle? Elijah Taylor for the Warriors, tackled by the Titans. What goes on here? No, just play on. You can score four-pointer. Well done. Well, everyone confused, so too Preston Campbell. What about his pass? Straight into the arms of the trainer. What's doing, Preston? Magic play. <laughs> Wonderful start Monday Night Football. Matt Orford slips over, kicking off. And Brett Stewart standing, waiting for the ball. He drops it. There, yeah, that can happen. That can happen. Anyway, it got better for Brett Stewart. Brings up his 100 tries for Manly. And what about the little post try celebration? A little gallop. Very subtle message there from Brett Stewart. Nice, not so subtle. Bronx Goodwin redecorating at Cogra last Sunday. Yeah, we like that sort of stuff. Uh, Bronx Goodwin, good stuff. Well done. Stuff you may have missed. All right, now, Rugby Union. We don't mind giving the rugby boys a go. Do you remember a few weeks ago, Digby Awani? Fantastic post-try celebration for Queensland. That was pretty impressive. Well, last week for the Auckland Blues, Rene Ranger thought he'd do the same, but he did a little bit of help. Ah, the Kiwi's funny. Ah, the I just had to pick the screw up off the ground. The Kiwi's Benji. How funny are they? <laughs> hey, Benji. Benji, catch. Whoop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Now, if you've been following the segment, you know we like to run our weekly uh, armed forces part. Well, this week we've got an absolute exclusive. The final moments inside Osama bin Laden's lair before the US Navy SEALs came in. Now, you've seen the vision of he was watching TV. Well, we can reveal exclusively on the footy show tonight exactly what he was watching before they came in. Doggies. Who could that be? Now, I just, just want to clear up, Ray, you're sweating up. We're not for one moment suggesting that Osama was a Bulldog supporter, but uh, we can confirm the Americans on one of his computers have found he did back the Cowboys for a penalty goal first scoring play. <laughs> uh, now, the Test match, uh, what about it? Pre-match, Tim Sheens hired some interesting motivators for the Aussie players as they came out onto the ground. What about this young kid firing up the players as they run on? Here we go, get your skin. Yeah, get in there, kangaroos, get in there. But then for another young boy, it wasn't so good. He had his hand from me. <laughs> but he got a feel for the poor bloke. He was leaning down and then one of the players trod on his hand. And, uh, yeah, that'll be played at his 21st. Uh, stuff you may have missed. What about pre-match? Uh, if you're talking about painful, uh, the national anthem. Uh, did you hear the last note? Barking from uh, Talabudgera all the way down to Cool and Gatta after that. Now, still pre game, the Harker. <laughs> we love it. The Kiwis pulling faces at us to scare us off before the game. Let's see the highlights. Isaac Luke, that's a beauty. Then what about our own Benji Marshall? Hi, Isaac. <laughs> we do like that. Good stuff, Benji. Well done, mate. But stuff you may have missed. The blokes may have missed this, but not the women. Billy Slater, is this the secret to his great play? First of all, using the referee as a shepherd on his way through to a try. Well done, Richie Silverwood. Very, very clever play. And then this one, what about Benji Marshall? Knocked out of Benji. You're featuring heavily tonight. Oh, Gerald, are you? Very nice. 
Locked into orbit. Here's another card for you, Benji. Well done. But back to Billy Slater. The female viewers of the show alerted us to this. What about the underwear that he wears? Is this the key to his play? Comfort, bit of support, sexiness. Is it a G-string? Billy Marshall. Billy Slater. Is it a G-string? Stuff you made me. It's all right, we finish up. Put it back up, right? Fairly. <laughs> we finished with Falcons because we've had a few last weekend. First of all, Steve Michaels, a Falcon that saved a try for the Gold Coast Titans against the Warriors right on half time. That is putting your head in the right place at the right time. Then we've had a rep footy Falcon. Now, I think the best rep footy Falcon of all time is Michael Crocker in State of Origin. But Chris Keating has made a little nomination playing for City. Very nice. That's a good way to try and catch a bomb, catch it with your eyebrows, good stuff. But was it better than our best Falcon from this year, Matty Utai? Let's do a quick comparison. Give me the judge at home. Which is the better Falcon? Nah, I'm still going to go with Matty Utai, the best Falcon so far in 2011. Yeah, show it again. Show it again. Show it again, Ray. Hey, that is stuff. That is stuff. You and may have missed.